hello and welcome to another episode of lemur's corner i am lemur and today guys we are playing space engineers again as you guys saw in the last video we made our little tube entrance right here uh, with our airlock doors and i snuck in a little sneak preview of this but here is the launch tube as you guys can tell it is huge panda freaked out when he came in for the first time he hadn't seen it he was jelly that we did it without him because uh, he's a little crybaby like that but right. uh <laughs> but the one thing I do want to do, guys, is I want to go ahead uh, and let you guys know that this video is brought to you guys by Razer. We have affiliates with them. So if you guys have any new gear that you want to get, mouse, keyboards, anything like that, just go ahead, click the link down in the description. It's all fantastic down there. So you guys can check out the weekly deals down there also. So, guys, um, uh, we have this tube now, and now we have to build this thing. And <laughs> we need 100,000 plates probably <laughs> to make this thing. Uh, Panda has no idea what my plans are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to describe my plans really quick to Panda. Panda, what we're Why? thinking Why? Is, is – so one thing is, is you can see we have a conveyor tube coming through if you didn't catch that. On the side of the one tube, we have to get some kind of system going for that so we can obviously build stuff in here. You can see it right up there. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Uh, and then another thing is we want to make like a glass control room at some point. So a, a glass control room where you can like walk up the stairs, have like some air oh, locks, and have like gotcha. a little area like where you can actually like show the launch coming from like a control area. Like, you know, not real control room. Uh, and no, then, I get you. And right now we have the tube is all white, but obviously we're thinking we're going to probably tear some of that, put some like red stripes in there and stuff like that. And, and have some fun with it, but we're going to do the tube is white for right now, and then kind of modify it after we get it built. Oh, check this out. Come up with me. Come, I'm come with me. I'm coming with you. Fly away with me. <laughs> the control room? That glass control room? Oh, you want to put it up top? Oh, yeah. You ought to put it up here. That way you can sit up here. And How about this? The... Two of them. Let's make one down below for making sure, and then one up top. Yeah, that way you can see the doors open and the ship actually come out through the... Yes, okay, I'm with you. 100%, so we're going to have two of them. That means we're going to have to build... Well, can we do an elevator? You think we could do an elevator? Up to the you control? You can do an elevator. I don't know how... You can do it out of pistons or you can do it out of wheels. I want to do um, it out of wheels because I heard that's better. Yeah, I don't know how to do it though. So we well, might have to... Why not? So then we're going to fail at it for a while. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to make fun of each other while we sit here and try to fill this and get this full, as you guys can see. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to do thousands of steel plates. <laughs> yeah. Yay. It's, it's, grind. It's, it's Yay. Grind. Yay. All right. What am I doing? Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, dude, I'm loving it, dude. I'm loving our build. I'm loving what it's looking like. I think it's turning out fantastic. I hope you're excited for it. Yay. Yay. <laughs> he was excited for it until he saw how big it was. <laughs> then he realized, oh my god. Yeah. I would just go ahead and start manufacturing like all the plates. I have like a hot fifty thousand plates going in right now. <laughs> if they're not running, we, also, do it. we need to make a better welding ship too, because uh You wanna work on a welding ship? Make a welding ship, man. Well, I'm I'm helping you extend the walls up right now. Oh, that's what you're doing right now? It's white. You did do it as white, right? Fuck. No. You garbage human being. I said it was white. What are you doing? God damn it. <laughs> I said white. I just died <laughs> from landing on the ground. No, you suicided yourself. Good. That's what I want to hear. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, Panda. I even said white. You know I said white. I didn't hear you say white. I said white. We're making it but, white, and we're going to add accents to it after it's white. Why Why can't there be some colors? We're going to add colors. <laughs> we just want to make it white initially, and then once we have a clean palette, we can edit it based on the look of it. Uh, I can't even get close enough to my dead body to get my shit. Well, whose fault is that for suiciding themselves because they're garbo? Whoa. Hey. I don't like it when you call me Garbo. Good. A plan. Make it feel like crap. Ah, uh, so much welding. Should we just hi ho, hi ho? <laughs> it's off to work we go. Bloop, boop, boop, bloop, boop, boop. No. Is it just the standard white that's standard, already? Yeah, it's the standard white. Yeah. Okay. If not, you could just shift P on the white. No, but that might I... be too, that might be too too intelligent for you. So. Yeah.
Yeah. And he was going to do three more. They were going to give him three more movies. And it was like, uh... I hope yep, not. There's that. You killed Star Wars. Like, Oops. I heard that. Did you crash? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> nice. Uh, we, we had a welder. No. No, the welder still works. It's just I don't have a physical welder on it anymore. <laughs> I had to make a decision on how I was going to smash it. And I just stuck a welder into the wall. And... No, that's the best one because those are the strongest pieces. So yeah, I knew it would hold up the rest of it as long as I put the welder into the wall. My best bet was to just let the welder hopefully eat it and I lost one welder. I, I I kept one, so you know that's not bad. No. Not bad as it could. Oh crap! There goes the other one. No, I went to put my grab my welder piece, and I grabbed. Uh... So here's Fire the question: girl, work. What are we? Are we going? Are we going to build? So when we build our spaceship, that we're building up, right? So let's talk about the future. <laughs> when we build the spaceship to go up, are we going to try to attach something small to it that's prepared for like? Like a like a like a a miner or something, so we don't have to build one in space. Well, here's the thing: what we can do is build one on the planet, uh -huh. and completely empty our inventories, take it all apart, and put it in its own small storage container. Okay. So when you get up there, you can rebuild it. Gotcha. You have to rebuild it exactly the same way, though. And that's so... see, that's what I mean. Like, but couldn't we just attach a small? Like, we don't need something huge. You could. You could. It's going to be the same weight regardless. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying because it's not a wind resistance issue. It's not like we have a wind resistance problem. No, not in this game. You know, and then just you know make sure we just connect it or something. Um, we do need to go up when before we go up, we got to have kind of an idea where we're going because we are going to be on hydrogen. So one of us should probably make a trip up to the. Yep. To the space before we go. But, yeah. All right, sir. So let me take a peek where we're at. A lot of work. Oh God! Yeah. I see what you're talking about now. No, we're dead. Uh, oh, you might be right on the fifty percent, sir. Unfortunate. Yeah, because we still got another. I'm gonna say twenty blocks to go. I would still say it's larger than fifty percent for sure, though. Eh. Well, you gotta think about it. Like it's, I've got some of them higher than others. I, I think it's. I don't know. I see. I see what you're talking about. You still got more to go. But I'm going to start going ahead and uh, continuing to do that welding. I don't think that's bad progress for one hour. Nope. You mentioned we had three people. Yeah. And this yeah, would be done, Eagle. dude. It'd be done. This would be 100% done. Or he would have tried to kill us. Yeah, that too. He's the most like unproductive, productive person sometimes on this game. <laughs> he can be productive if he's got something he's doing, but if not, he's like... The most unproductive person ever. So basically, we had parties all the time. This one guy came over that two of my roommates knew, and so they're like, "Oh yeah, we're, we're drinking and stuff." I'm like, "Oh cool." We're starting to drink and stuff. Everything goes fine all night. Everyone gets up in the morning, and there's just the four of us live in the house, and the other guy that we were hanging out with, one of the other guys that stayed the night, we thought, um, was gone. And we're like, "What the hell?" So then we're like looking and looking and like so then all of a sudden one of us is like oh well I'm just gonna go make some you know, breakfast I'm hungry and stuff and they go to open one of the fridges and they find a turd in the fridge. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and we're like what the f he freaks the fuck out right? Then all of a sudden we look then there's a turd on the um on in the nightstand drawer <laughs> and then there's a turd on the floor and a turd on the couch. <laughs> And then the we, we, someone goes to the bathroom and goes, "What the fuck?" There's the t just a turd, like big black brown streak along the shower wall, <laughs> and, oh, and a brown Lord. streak all over a towel. We're like, "What the fuck is it?" We're all like super pissed, like, "Who the fuck did this?" And then all of a sudden, like, we realize it was the guy that like it was gone now, and we're like, "This motherfucker took a shit in our house, <laughs> all over our fucking house, and just bailed on us." <laughs> So we call his ass back and make him come back and clean up all this shit. 
I was like, what the fuck? And one of us sat there just like watching him clean it, making sure he's cleaning it like properly, because no offense. Yeah, with like bleach and <laughs> yeah. fire. Like, could yeah. you imagine opening your fucking the refrigerator and finding shit? <laughs> Is that a sausage or a turd? Like. <laughs> And in like a like a drawer, like a like a like a coffee table drawer. <laughs> so I you know, swear. and then he, you know, he went to he, what happened is he realized he shit, and so he he tried to clean it up by going to the bathroom. It just made it worse. It made it so much worse. <laughs> I mean, if I would have been so much more pissed because none of my food was in that that because we had two fridges, and none of my food was in that fridge, and I never used the couch, so I didn't. I was just laughing. <laughs> uh... Yeah, you have to get a special kind of fucked up to do that. <laughs> yeah, that was that was all kinds of fucking special, dude. It was like, what the fuck? And then the worst thing I ever did, I threw up all over the inside of one of my friend's trucks. Like, in his cup holder and everything. Like, just... Dude. I, I killed it. But so... other than that, no, I never really... I never destroyed any property or, <laughs> or shit in a... <laughs> The refrigerator <laughs> that never happened <laughs> like to get in the fridge like, let, it was on a shelf in the fridge let's think about that for a minute not in the dr- door it's like it looks like a brown banana just chilling it's just chilling was it like a solid one or was it like dude i only had minor parts in that i was like i, I ain't my friend fuck that dude i ain't dealing with that shit <laughs> he ain't you, my friend. i was like he ain't my friend you call his ass and you tell his ass get back and clean up right, guys so we have completed the launch bay you guys got to watch up and catch up to this point uh, with all the little stuff but i want to go ahead and give you guys once again a little quick view of everything that we've completed on this episode so let's go ahead open up our tube doors here we go ahead and open them we've got the two layers on here we're going to go ahead and walk right in you guys can see our little welders down here our spotlights are up and if we just look straight up you guys can see just good old-fashioned white giant tube um and and that's all it really is right now however uh, the next episode is going to be great because we're going to get in here, we're going to decorate some stuff, change some stuff up, get some lighting in here, build some control towers. We're going to go ahead and get the lid on here to where it opens uh, the bay doors or launch tube doors or whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's going to be on here and we're going to get that completed, get some turrets up on this thing so it can protect itself. Um, I did add a little uh, a little goodbye thing as we go. So when you see it taking off, it's going to have a bye. See ya. So let's go ahead and take a look as uh, we can come out here. And you guys can see the entire base is now completed uh, pretty much other than the outside. We just got to get this launch bay ready and then build the ship and uh, take off to space. Uh, but that's going to be really it, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the build. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys uh, will go ahead, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you guys are going to go ahead, leave us a comment down below if you want to see something or if there's something that we missed or any of that not fun stuff. Make sure you guys leave it a comment down below. You guys can hit that little button down in the middle and it's going to go ahead and subscribe you to the channel. Make sure you guys hit that bell for notifications. But as always, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.